Hey y'all, CW Gaming here. Welcome back to my Road to a Thousand series. I'm gonna go into another replay. As I'm inching my way up the ELO rankings, I'm at 755 now. And I'm also I'm I started playing with the Saracens. Uh this game I'm playing uh this this guy here uh against the Khmer. And man, I I really think the um the Town Center Idol series has, I mean, helped me substantially. I mean, that's really all I can say. Um, okay, we're good to go. Um, yeah, so playing in Arabia. Um, uh, yeah, so Saracens, the reason I started playing with them, um, I just looked at their tech tree, and... I mean, they're pretty similar. They're a camel sieve, uh, very similar to the Hindustanis, but uh, with a few differences. Um, one being, one thing I noticed pretty quickly is they have really no, um, no eco bonuses at all. Um, where you know the Hindustanis had the cheaper, um, uh, the cheaper bills at each um, age, so that was very helpful. Um, Saracens don't have anything like that. They what their um what their perks are is some like market perks, cheaper market, uh low uh discount on fees for market fees. Um they do have some camel I see I think up there's a special tech where they add twenty hit points to the camels plus camels already have plus ten, so that's thirty. That's pretty that's pretty dang good. Um if you play with the camels. Um, but what I really liked about them is, I mean, everything is open. They're, they're completely, they have like full infantry line with upgrades, um, um, full archer, full armor lesters with all upgrades, uh, cavalry archers with all upgrades, um, uh, heavy camels with decent like hit point upgrades. Um, they even have knights. They don't have cavaliers or, uh, paladins, but they do have knights, which is great. Hindustanis do not. Um, let's see. Not sure much about the naval. I'm still not into uh, the naval side of the game yet. Um, let's see what else. They got bombard cannons. Uh, they do have a, uh, a sieve perk for mangonels and trebuchets. What's it called? Like, um, I can't remember what it is, but it, it adds like 15% attack or something like that. Um, so yeah, I, I like their versatility, just how they're able to, oh, hand cannoneers for infantry. I mean, they have a lot of stuff, um, a lot of different units that you can make, but again, no, no special eco bonuses, which, which can be a big deal, which, which are, uh, that's, that sucks. That sucks. That they don't have that, but I mean, I don't know. So far, I'm I'm liking them quite a bit. Um, but yeah, again, just just trying out different sieves, and um, so I'm on Saracens now. But yeah, again, I'm 755. Um, really won quite a few games in a row. Um, I don't think any of them were really worthy of much of a replay. Um, but here we are against the Khmer, which Khmer's, I mean. Ah, terrible. I should not have that should not have happened. Um they they seem to be a real popular um uh at this meta at this at this ELO level. I, I play a lot of Khmer. Uh but this game in particular I thought was um a really good chance for a replay uh to learn from. And so yeah, I'm playing this guy here. Um he was pretty decent. Made a lot of mistakes. Um we'll we'll see those mistakes here. Um, keeping my, keeping my, uh, my idol down. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. Um, so yeah, so far just normal. Got 24 bills, no military. He's got, uh, three spearmen with a scout. He did not lose a scout like me. Um, pretty normal opening, doing the double, uh, ranges. Gonna, gonna push maybe... Maybe but sometimes before castle, just to kind of see what's going on right after fletching. Uh, but not not really an early early rush. 
I think I think I would have already pushed at this point, so you can't really call this early. Um, yeah, moving along. He's doing pretty well, I guess. Let's fast forward a little bit. Um, he's walling up pretty good. He's got a really big area. I'm I'm working on my walling as well. Um, again, I am thinking of ideas for my next, um, I guess, mini series. Um, I think something like walling or you know strategic building placement, something like that, can be, you know, maybe maybe three videos or something uh, focusing on that. But um, yeah, I, I think the the town center idol is just so so important. Um, it's a very good thing to start with. Okay, so I've got seven archers here with fletching. Just uh, see what I can, what kind of damage I can do. Making a lot of houses. Okay, he ain't got a house. Up to seventy-five. Okay, so yeah, I love how archers do a whole lot of damage against these, which I know they're. Um, I don't know if they archers have what bonus damage against gates, but then they go down quickly. Okay, you just had a couple spearmen, no good against archers. Really, there's not much good against archers except a skirmisher. That's it. Uh, don't know why I'm doing that. Let's see something here. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I do not see that tower yet. Um, so I don't know what what I'm doing here. I'm probably going back and looking at his scout, or yeah, I'm I'm handling his scout. I'm trying to multitask, and then I come up here and see that pull away. That was a good good tower placement. So I'm gonna see what kind of damage I can do. I know I can kill a few scouts. Decent little micro, and I don't think I lost one. Very nice. So seeing what kind of damage I can do. Not much. He's been pulling pretty good. I mean, I've, I've got, I do have seven, seven kills. Um, most of that's his military units. Eight. So he goes for his second town center, which is good. Um, you'll see that probably a mistake I didn't, or something i didn't do i should have done and then the knights that's going to clear this up so let's go back home let's get a view and speed up a little bit okay so he got that early castle started making a second town center which uh, allows him to boom a bit more because i am ahead i uh, did kill i don't know if i killed but i kind of slowed him down so i got the uh, 42 bills to his 35 um I think a mistake I made right away is um, I should have went with like an early town center right now, like maybe there, um, there, there. I don't know. Yeah, I'd say there by the gold and trees. Um, maybe open these up here. And now he's getting a castle, which is a uh, probably decent spot. Maybe here would be better. I don't know. That's pretty good. Um. Yeah, I think he made some good early decisions like that um, for that town center and castle. Um, I think I was making the right units. I you know, got some camels and some crossbowmen upgraded. Um, when I come and see this this castle. I do see the castle. Um... Not much going on. He is hitting me here. I'm so I'm gonna put up a couple houses. I'm still not that good at doing this kind of stuff, but he does get a couple bills um, killed off here. Uh, there's I think maybe three, maybe yeah, he kills three. Sets me back a little bit, but not that big a deal. Still, I'm on one town center. Um, yeah, if I would have done this over, I would have. Definitely got an early town center because I know Khmer, man. I know this unit right here is such a pain, Ballista Elephant. Um, and I've seen series with, um, um, was it Spirit of the Law and Hera and, and just showing how tough these units are. 
um, and how hard they can be to counter once they get masked up. So I know that. I know I should be attacking, um, but I'm not. I'm being a little comfortable and, and just being slow. I mean, I... Yeah, it's real easy to see your mistakes afterwards. Um, let's see what I'm sitting on. Sitting on a lot of food. See, I should have a ton of camels by now, at least. You know, I've got the food and the gold. Um, I don't know if I'm thinking of getting to Imperial. I know that doesn't happen for a while. So there's my town center. I don't know why I'm sitting on so much. That's a, a big glaring mistake right now I can see. Uh, maybe add a couple more um, stables. I don't know. They actually make pretty quick, so I think you can get a lot out of two stables. Um, but yeah, so a couple things against uh, Ballista Elephants. You know, most infantry units, um, even like pikemen, halberdiers, they don't work. They just, they, they get mowed down by... Uh, but, I mean, at this level, with this few, sure, I could I could wipe that out. Um, but when they get masked up, there's there's no point in having halberdiers. Um, camels do good work. The siege onagers are what do a lot of a lot of damage. Um, which also Saracens do have siege onagers over. Um, I think the Hindustanis have onagers. Um, so there's my castle. There's my first castle going up. Um, okay. Yeah, so he's got his second castle. He's got three town centers, so... He got that early advantage, and he really, um, took advantage of it. Um, took advantage of that early advantage. Um, but yeah, I, I, Oof. He's got 13, 14. Boy, he's, yeah, he's massing them up, so... I'll show you the battle here in a minute. Um, he's getting all the upgrades. He's got. He's getting halberdiers. He's getting them upgraded. So I am finally going to Imperial. Yeah, he was just able to boom way better than me with all those town centers. I mean, I, there's my third town center finally. Um, here's my first Manganel. That should be an onager at least by now. That should be an imperial. Anyways, hindsight, 2020. He's got, yep, 14. Then he's got some, yep, here's the trebuchets. And I don't have any trebuchets yet. Of course, I just got the imperial. Um, so, okay. Let me slow down. Okay, so he, he's got a good composition. He's, he's got units where they should be. You know, the, the halberdiers. Again, I, you know, I, I think my, um, I think my, my Manganel and Onager um, micro is, is pretty decent for my level especially. Um, if these were Onagers or Siege Onagers, this would be a different game, I think, entirely. I mean, I've gotten like six or seven hits already. Um, yeah. So, um, just for the for the viewers here, if, if anybody's got any um, uh, tips of what I, sh you know, something to better counter what I'm doing here, I, in my opinion, I think uh, a few sea janitors and more camels. Um, maybe even a few hand cannoneers for these for these halves would have been good but i think my siege onagers would have been just totally fine at dealing with them as well so um you know keeping some of my archers in the back doubling my camels and having a few siege onagers i feel would have been the the difference in this game um so let's let's move a little more he's making more of the siege elephants Ballista, elite ballista elephants um and i'm just i'm just too behind i mean i think at this point i am massing a few more um camels see i don't want to skip anything i've got kind of a bad habit of doing that okay so he's sieging again he's getting my next castle 
Um, yeah, and, and and I didn't make any more. Um, didn't make any more siege. So it's yeah, he j he just kind of wastes me. Again, I think I think doing this over, I would have done it a, quite a bit differently. But um, yeah, it just seems like I mean Khmer. Everybody is doing Khmer, and it's so strong. This is a strong army. Um, but yeah, I just think I just I clearly didn't go about it the right way. Or I think I did, but I just like that should not be a manga now, you know. Mangan, I think that's the right play, but it just needs to be a siege manager. And uh, yeah, I think I, I think I resign here, which I probably shouldn't have, but it's, it's, it's over, you know. <laughs> it's over at this point. I don't usually do the early resign, but um, with that army, it's yeah. I was in a pretty bad spot. Uh, but yeah, just another. Um, uh, another loss. I think I learned a lot more from these. So uh, if y'all got any uh, advice or tips, um, uh, either agreeing or disagreeing with what I said, please let me know. And um, appreciate y'all watching. We'll see you next time.